Another way we live better elected. Watching sports school, we're gonna teach you the basics of bull riding. We're gonna teach you how to carve, teach you carve grinding, and the basics of how to ride a real bull. to a rocket with the explosive power of a small nuclear bomb. Four intrepid crew members ready and willing to risk it all for the thrill of a lifetime. This is a profession where the best in their fields compete for their chance to cheat death and fly to the heavens. The world's oceans set us apart from every observable planet. Their enormity of scope is beyond our comprehension. Our ancestors saw them as infinite resources that could never run out. Which perhaps explains why we've never believed they could sicken and die. But now, as vast shipping trawlers strip mine the seas, and we attempt to sweep our modern garbage beneath this vast blue carpet, we have to ask the question, are our seas dying? And if they are, what are we going to do about it? They were married in 1952, and within two years, Reagan had moved to the powerful new medium of television. As host of GE Theater, Reagan took an early turn as pitchman for the American dream. This is a transistor radio, too. Weighs only a few ounces. You can slip it right into your pocket. And so he popped through the um, television camera into people's homes. That's very good. A lot of the stars didn't make that transition. Electricity brings it to us. It's another way we live better electrically. It required new people with um, new talents, and he had it. The next wave would be politics. One hour east of Salt Lake City, in the western United States, spectators gather at the Utah Olympic Park to watch athletes go through their paces. Though the skiers are seasoned veterans, the slope is not, and they're here to prove it worthy. For former director of Olympic sports, Kathy Priestner Allinger, there's only one way to do it. We don't know if a venue works until you put an event into it or on it. To really, truly test a downhill course, you need the, the top, top skiers on that mountain, pushing it, you know, pushing the envelope, pushing their limit. Athletic perfection is the goal. The Olympics provide the ultimate lab for attaining it. This year, the monsoon rains have been less than expected. People are worried about losing their tea crop. They decide to plead their case to the rain gods. These gods have particular preferences. It seems what makes them happy is when two frogs are married. In Assam, legend has it that during dry spells, joining two frogs in marriage brings rain. So people conduct grand ceremonies following Hindu marriage rituals. Whole villages rejoice. Guests shower the newlywed amphibians with blessings and gifts of money. The 
priest takes the couple to spend their honeymoon in a nearby pond. Soon after, the clouds over Cherrapunji turn dark and rain begins to pour. It may just be coincidence, but in Assam, the frog marriage is not taken lightly. It's another way we live better elected.